Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have a brand new Nanmu model to take a look at. There are very few things I can say that are as exciting as that. A brand new Nanmu model is always one of the most exciting reviews that I could possibly present to you guys. And we are checking out Calypso and Santiago, the Baryonyx pair and you can see that as far as the boxes go we actually have both different variants here of course and you can see that as far as santiago santiago is a laying down version a resting version we also have calypso who is the standing much more fierce looking version of the baryonyx and then of course the base you can basically see what's going on as far as the box art. It's kind of like the standard as far as Nanmu box art goes, which is always very, very cool to see. I love the box art of the Nanmu products. I think it's really nice, very stylish, and overall very appealing. So let's go ahead, pop these out of the boxes, and check out these brand new Baryonics. So as we bring them in, we have the art card times two because both of the Baryonyx come with the art card. And as far as what we have on the art card, you can see a really nice image of the Baryonyx in an actual a snowy setting, which is very cool to see, something that's very different, almost very Jurassic World Dominion-like, as obviously dinosaurs will be appearing in snowy settings in that film. But really nice artwork as always. And it's hard to tell, but it almost looks like we have kind of like a shadow of a pterosaur or something flying through really quickly. Like you can almost make out the overall appearance of a pterosaur, which is maybe why the baryonyx is kind of letting out that vocalization or something there. And then here on the back, we have that really beautiful artwork, the hand-drawn versions of the baryonyx, which I always love, as well as the fish. So I don't know exactly what kind of fish it is. It looks like some sort of a gar but uh, very cool as far as what we have here on the back of the art card. As always, I love these hand-drawn sides, probably more so than the other sides. And then we have our fish right here, which looks really cool. Pretty excited to get that out and take a look at it. Very nice addition. Something that, of course, comes unpainted, but you could paint it yourself like all of the human characters that you know we've received from Nanmu over the time period that they've been releasing figures. And then we have our base, and look at the beautiful detailing on that base. That is super, super nice. Incredibly highly detailed, and the eggs look fantastic as well. And on top of that, if we move this back a little bit and get that base into frame, we also have our Baryonyx, the relaxing version right here, which I believe is Santiago. Get the Baryonyx in a nice, comfy position right there. And then we have Calypso, the standing version of the Baryonyx. Now, these two actually can, I'll put them back like that. These two can go together on the base, but Calypso actually comes with his own base individually. So you can either put it on the base together with the other one, or you can, you know, leave it on its base, of course, individually. But if you buy the figures on their own, I don't think this one has a base. I think it just comes in like a laying down relaxing position. Of course, Calypso does come with a base regardless. But if you buy the two together, then you get this awesome base that can include both of them. Right here is the peg for us to apply Calypso to the base here with Santiago, which we will definitely do at some point before the review is over. But again, as far as my first impressions go, these are fantastic. As always, Nanmu just completely obliterates the competition continuously when it comes to releasing the best versions, I think, of everything that they release, especially when it comes to Jurassic World style and Jurassic Park style dinosaurs. Like, they have been just destroying it now for years, and this is another really nice example of just how good they are at creating the most lifelike versions of dinosaurs possible. I'm very much so loving all of these, you know, Jurassic related releases, but I also love the fact that every once in a while they kind of go outside of the Jurassic area with like, you know, the V-Rex and stuff. So really cool that we kind of get a mixture of both. But as far as Jurassic dinosaurs go, again, as long as you follow the Nanmu line, I think you'll probably have the best of everything that is released as far as the different Jurassic dinosaurs go. But both of these look super nice. So let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look right now. Now we will start our review with Calypso, the standing version, the brownish version, and you can see straight away that the detailing on the face is unbelievable as far as the beautiful scale detail and the very fine detail throughout. Like it is as highly detailed as always 
as it could possibly get. Like, just look at the nostrils and how nicely elaborated they are. That is really nice, and the scale detail is all perfectly sculpted out and beautifully brought to life with some very nice, very natural looking paintwork. We have many different variations of tones of color here in the face with some, you know, light kind of like grays. We have some yellows. We have variations of browns. We also have yellows up here along the top of the head that kind of stripe through. Very nice, very naturally applied paintwork, and all of the scale detail pops so nicely with the way that they've painted it with some very nice dry brushing techniques. You can see that the mouth is open. This does not actually come with an articulated jaw. You can see that that is completely staying in place, so there is no articulated jaw on the baryonyx, but you can see that the mouth is in an open position, and you can see that the teeth look great as far as the sculpt and detail go. I love how they're kind of like not all perfectly uniform in the positioning, like this tooth right here is kind of crooked, almost makes it look like the tooth was maybe knocked out at some point and grew back in a little bit crooked, and you can see that over here. Maybe it's just the way that it looks as far as like that kind of hook in the jaw, but I think it looks super nice, super realistic, and you can see that through the course of the mouth with a few different teeth like they're not all perfectly uniform in the positioning and I think that is a very realistic aspect to the baryonyx model but you can see the teeth are created with a very nice almost translucent type of a look so they have a super realistic and lifelike shine to them and coloration they just look genuinely as alive as it gets you can see the Detailing here of the inside of the mouth is also very nicely done. There's some beautiful detail in there as well as some more really nice variation of color with some variations of like purples, lighter and darker tones of purple. Look at the tongue. The tongue is so nice, so lifelike. And look at all the different variations of color included in there on the tongue. That again is also as realistic and lifelike as a tongue can get on a dinosaur model. Like I have never seen a mass produced model with a more realistic looking tongue than I'm seeing right here on this Baryonyx. And the realism does not cease anywhere in the mouth of this Baryonyx. First of all, you can see the detail is just off the charts in there. There's so much detail. And uh, on top of that, some more really nice, very realistic paintwork. They seem to have applied a beautiful wash in there. So the detail pops very nicely. And you can see there, way back in the back of the throat, it genuinely looks like it has an actual throat. So again, creating that illusion that it doesn't just end right there. It keeps going. So unbelievably realistic is the inside of the mouth of this Baryonyx Nanmu. Not only do they never cease to impress me, but they just continuously blow my mind. The eye is again painted here really nicely, or maybe it has a decal, I'm not too sure. I'm thinking it's a decal, but you could see if my camera would focus on it, that the eye is a beautiful bluish coloration, a very nice black, kind of a slit-like pupil, and an incredibly realistic gloss coat that, you know, makes the eye have that very nice realistic eye shine. As you start to move back into the neck, you can continue to see how nice the scale detail looks, and also some really nice creases in the skin right there with the baryonyx having its head turned to the right you can see how beautiful the creasing is right there right behind the head as you reach into the neck there very nice detailing right there and you can in general see how smooth and beautiful looking the curve of the neck is as we move down the course of the neck you can even see like the tensing and everything along with again the skin kind of stretching and turning with that turn in the neck of the baryonyx it obviously has a very sharp turn in the neck so that looks great as well up here on the back of the neck you can kind of see almost like an slightly armored type of an appearance as far as like the scoots and osteoderms running down the back of the neck you can also see the really nice like yellow stripes picking up and running down the course of the back and they're kind of like yellow and dark brown stripes so they sort of trade back and forth where you see yellow dark brown yellow dark brown yellow dark brown and that's basically the entire way that it looks the entire course down the neck but once we actually get down here into the body you start to see a little bit more variation because not only do you now have a dark brown you have a slightly lighter brown and the yellow that kind of stripe back and trade places back and forth which looks really cool as you move down into the body, you can see the shoulder blade there elaborated very nicely from the skin. Some nice muscle definition moving down into the arm. More gorgeous looking scale detail, as well as some more really nice paintwork. Like I like how there's like some areas of like a light wash that have been applied to really make the detail pop quite beautifully. 
as you move down the course of the hand, the hand and the entire arm has such a reptilian-like appearance to the scaling. It looks very cool as you move down into the hand. It just looks so different than what you usually see on a dinosaur model, and I love it. And you can see as we reach the hands again, we have the very nicely painted nails. They are painted with a black, and they also sport a slight dry brushing over with a light gray or something along those lines to make the detail of even the nails pop quite beautifully. They have a very nice gloss coat, and they are painted to perfect. Perfection. There is zero sloppiness as far as the nail paint goes. As you move up into the stomach, you can again see some more really nice scale detail as well as some more beautiful color variation with some nice light dry brushing and everything that they've applied to the stomach to make all of that detail pop. And you can also pick out the rib cage there as I turn the figure a little bit, very nicely shown off in the sculpt. Again, more of those kind of like rows of that armored like scoot like appearance up there on the top. And you can pick out the hip bone a little bit right there, moving down into the thigh, some more very nice muscle definition in the thigh, as well as some color variation with some yellows and different variations of browns, as well as a nice brown striping running down the course of the thigh. The kneecap is present there in the front of the leg. You have a very nicely defined calf muscle back here, and again, some more fantastic scale detail running down the course of the shin of the Baryonyx and then moving down into the foot you can see like some scoots running down the toes It does transition to a nice brown here on the foot a few variations of brown I should say some scoots down the toes and you also have again the very nicely painted nails with a beautiful gloss coat and some nice light dry brushing yet again the nails are perfectly painted there is just zero sloppiness and we do have dew claws of course back here on the backs of the feet if my camera would again stay focused on it. As we lead up here into the tail, you can see how the thigh is pulling forward, stretching the skin beautifully off of the tail. We have some more fantastic skin detail here as we move out the length of the tail with some really nice, again, scale detail. And the tail is stretched pretty far. Like, there's not really much of a curve. You can see a slight curve. But due to just how far the tail is stretched, like, you don't really see any kind of, like, skin wrinkles or anything like it genuinely actually even right here you can kind of see like the tail is tensing due to how far it's stretched which i really like how nanmu always just goes the extra mile to give you literally every ounce of detail they possibly can in their sculpts and again creating the most realistic looking sculpt possible even capturing things like tensing of the muscles and the folding of the skin and everything it just looks incredible continuously you can see as we lead out here into the tail again those kind of uh osteoderms there along the back start to get a little bit bigger they almost turn into like ridges that run along the back of the tail here for a brief period from like eh, a little ways into the tail i would say nearing halfway into the tail they start to pick up and then they end here a little bit before the tip of the tail if we take a look at the opposing side of course the head is now turned away from us but you can again see that the paintwork and sculpt work looks fantastic here on this side of the head as well just like it did on the initial side just a really very appealing looking image of an open mouth baryonyx something i would not want to encounter if it was having a bad day you can again see the really nice kind of armored type of a look there running along the back of the neck and you can see a little bit of creasing here because of course the mouth is open which would probably crease the skin right there in that area but you don't see quite as much creasing here as you see on the opposing side because the dinosaur has its head turned in that direction which would be bunching the skin up over here it would be more so stretching and you could see that along with the tensing in the neck again over here and just like look at the way that the skin is sculpted out as you move down and it really shows off that turn beautifully there in the neck so unreasonably realistic is the detailing of the nanmu models as you move down here into the body a little bit further you can see that the hands are in almost the same position which is pretty much exactly what i would expect you can see that the shoulder blade is nicely displayed yet again as well as some nice muscle definition in the arms some beautiful striping down the course of the arms and we again have that very cool looking very reptilian scaling down the course of the arm and down into the hand we have the nails painted beautifully yet again like we had seen on the initial side over here you see a little bit less of the stomach because the leg is picking up and you know kind of obscuring the stomach a little bit right there but you can see that the scale detail looks fantastic the rib cage is present yet again over here and we have tons and tons of color variation yet again on this side we even have like some hints of greens and stuff in the stomach up here at the upper part of the stomach so much color variation it's honestly insane 
and you can see a few more like skin wrinkles and skin folds and stuff there with the knee pushing into the stomach kind of bunching that skin up a little bit of creasing up here as well some more nice muscle definition in the thigh as we move back here yet again you can see the skin stretching beautifully due to the positioning of the leg kind of pulling forward stretching that skin nice creasing here in the joint of the knee as well as the kneecap present in the front of the leg some more really nice scale detail running down the shin and you can again see the stripes and stuff right there beautiful creasing here as we move down into the foot right there in the ankle area you can see the foot looks great again as far as those very nice scoots down the course of the toes nice bends in the toes as well really showing how the foot is picking up in a very bird-like fashion and you can also see those very nicely painted nails and very nicely glossed nails and then moving up here into the tail you can again see how stretched the tail is quite beautifully on both sides with some more fantastic scale detail and some more fantastic skin texture the entire upper side again has such a cool visual due to those really nice yellow stripes and then here on the underside you can see that we again have some more really nice scale detail that is all brought out beautifully with some very nice light dry brushing as always and includes some alternate tones of color as well as we have like off whites and some slight like light very light browns or tans in here so much color and an incredible looking baryonyx that is an absolutely phenomenal looking version of a baryonyx and then the base for Calypso you can see is just a very small kind of an earthy area but I love that this version here matches the laying down versions base so you can kind of keep it on this and it still looks like it's part of the same earthy area or you can of course apply it to the other base which we will do here in a little bit but you can see that as far as the texturing and stuff goes it's really nicely done and so much color variation and I really love the tones of color that they've chosen for this particular base and I will explain why here in just a little bit but you can see the underside as well sports the nanmu logo so a very professional and overall extremely nice looking again very small base for calypso and then as far as santiago goes you can see that the head sculpt again looks just like the other one and that means it just looks as beautiful as the other one obviously we have a very different coloration for this one as we have some nice shades of even like pinks we have some grays we have some very dark blues even like some uh, off whites and slight slight hints of yellows throughout the course of the face from the upper jaw to the lower jaw which just again gives it a super realistic and lifelike appearance and it's all very nice and naturally applied like always when it comes to a nanmu model yet again we do not have an articulated jaw but you can see that the jaw is open slightly the mouth is not closed and i think that's a really cool look as well it's not something you often see portrayed in dinosaur models is the mouth just kind of open a little bit so i really do like that aspect of the model we can see the teeth yet again and they of course have that kind of translucent type of a look with the material they use and the coloration that they give it it just looks unbelievably lifelike and realistic as it always does and then of course we could see that the nostrils are nicely displayed here on the head the eyes as well and you can see the eyes are painted this time or again given a decal with a beautiful orange and given a black slit like pupil which the coloration of the eye plays off beautifully from the coloration of the baryonyx itself once we reach back here into the body you start to see some pretty major differences between this one and the other one as far as the positioning of course goes so you see again that same style of sculpt because they would be part of the same pair so uh, obviously they're going to have very similar appearances to them but you can see that as far as this one goes it's in a laying down position the body is down so the head is lifted up really quite far and you can see the neck kind of stretching there to give it that very nice relaxed position you can see the bend in the neck as well like coming up right here beautiful bend right there and it shows that very nicely in the actual skin detail of the baryonyx and yet again we have so much color variation like some nice dark blues some light grays we have some very very dark bordering on blackish or grayish type blues up here a lot of very nice and realistic tones of color are included as we move down the course of the body you get down here into the body itself you start to see how the arms are kind of relaxed down here on the ground and you can see the shoulder blade kind of protruding from the skin a little bit right there as well as some nice tensing in the arms very nicely dry brushed over to highlight that detail the nails are painted with a brown but it actually looks like it has a mixture of blacks and browns so there is some color variation within the nails you can see the scale detail there to the underside of the baryonyx sports some very nice darker coloration dry brushed over with a lighter coloration kind of like a light gray so that it is all very nicely 
popping and jumping out at you on the course of the entire model. You can see the rib cage a little bit over here. You can also see some more beautiful scale detail throughout the course of the figure and some more very nice and naturally applied paintwork. You can see a really nice twist to the skin here in the body because of course this version here is laying down so it would be laying like this and you can see the twisting there in the body very nicely in the sculpt as far as like the way the skin is twisting and bending it looks super super cool as you move back here a little bit more you can continue to see how we have that very nice kind of an armored look for the upper side of the dinosaur you can see the hip bone a little bit right here as well as some muscle definition but you can also see just how kind of pancaked the side of the dinosaur is here on this leg that it's laying on. You can see it's pretty much flat here. So the weight of the baryonyx is really bearing down on this leg and kind of flattening it out for it to lay down. And that is beautifully shown here in the sculpt of the baryonyx. As you move down the course of the leg, you can see that same ordeal is occurring right there with the calf muscle. And the foot, as we move down, you can see the foot is in a very nice relaxed position, just kind of laying there. And we have some nice scoots down the course of the toes. And the scoots actually have a very nice light dry brushing with some blue, which looks really nice. We have the beautifully painted nails there. No sloppiness yet again, as always. And then as we move up here, you can kind of see like some skin stretching and stuff again. There is a nice curve to the tail on this one. Not, you know, like the curve that we had in the other one, where it was a slight curve, but it was kind of tensed and straightened. This one has a much stronger curve to it because this one is relaxing. So you can see that nicely displayed in the sculpt on this side but of course that's the less impressive side because this is the side that you would see a lot more on the baryonyx with the laying down position that it is currently displaying so you can again see the really nice turn in the neck of the baryonyx as the dinosaur just lays here looking around with the head in an upward position here kind of like you know really lifted up off of the ground so it can look around and you can see that nicely again sculpted out as far as like the skin detail goes and everything here in the neck on this side some nice creasing right there behind the head showing off the turn in the neck as you move down here into the body you can again see the shoulder blade but it's not quite as protruding i think from the skin as what we had seen on the initial side because of course it's not bearing weight on this side so it wouldn't really be tensing the way that the other side is this side is a lot more relaxed and you can see that nicely again displayed in the sculpt you can really see how cool that very reptilian looking Scale detail is here on the arm of this side because this arm is up a little bit higher. We have that very nice, again, dry brushing down the course of the arm into the hand. As you lead up here into the stomach, you can again see the rib cage and some more beautiful scale detail throughout the course of the figure. Moving back up here into the back and everything, some nice skin wrinkles and skin folds and stuff. As you move up into the thigh area, you can again see how beautiful the scale detail pops. Like it looks like it was painted with a very dark gray, but then dry brushed with the blue over top. So the scale detail really pops there on the side of the leg there. And you can see that again, we have kind of like this sort of like a light gray that kind of outlines a dark blue and then the other blue right there which it looks very reminiscent to the you know fallen kingdom version of baryonyx as you move down here into the leg you can see the kneecap again as well as some more beautiful detailing there with the scale detail running down the shin the same style of paint scheme here runs down the course of the leg with that kind of light gray outlining the darker blue and you can see the foot again in kind of a relaxed position here, laying the toes look like they're just nice and comfortable. They're not held together or anything. They're just kind of chilling there. The nails also look really nice as far as the paintwork with some variations of blacks and browns and that very nice gloss coat. You can get a much nicer view here of the dew claw on this one. And then moving back up into the tail, you can yet again see the skin stretching off of the tail right there. As you move out the length of the tail, you see more of that fantastic detailing as far as the scale detail goes and the really nice curve in the tail you can really get a good idea of how nice the curve looks there from the upper side and uh, again another beautiful beautiful baryonyx with a very nice relaxed pose i love this pose for dinosaurs some people are you know on the fence about whether they could actually pull that off or not but it does make a really cool visual that's for sure and then we've got our fish, and although it doesn't really actually have any paintwork on it, so it's a little hard to really see how nice the detailing is, I can definitely assure you that it is fantastic. Like, as I turn the fish here, you can really see how nice the scale detail of the fish looks, as well as the detailing there in the fins and the tail fin and everything. It's super nice. You can see the eyes where they would be, you know, of course, placed on our fish. If my camera would focus on it, there we go. 
You can see the mouth is also very nicely displayed there in the sculpt. Not exactly the most, you know, impressive thing to see when it comes to a lack of paintwork on the figure, but I think once there would be some paintwork added to it, it would really pop. You can even see on this side we have like some slits down the side of the Baryonyx, because of course this figure would be sitting with the Baryonyx there, kind of appearing as though maybe Calypso had just brought Santiago something to eat as Santiago is watching over the nest. And uh, you can see that obviously the Baryonyx has left some injuries here on the side of the fish, on the side of this, I think it would be a gar of some kind. And then the base that holds them all together, we have again very reminiscent to the base that we just saw there for Calypso, that Calypso was standing on, the very small piece. Same style of coloration with some really cool variations of greens, blues, and of course a very nice dark black wash. So every crack and crevice throughout the course of the base just jumps out at you in a very realistic and natural way. There's even alternate coloration in here. I can actually pick up on like grays and everything. Like there's just so much color. There's even a few spots of like, I'm not sure if they're like just orangish dots or reddish dots. Maybe they're meant to insinuate maybe some blood or something. I'm not too sure, but that's definitely there. I'm picking up on that as well. But again, the texturing is incredible throughout the entire course of the base really creates one unbelievable diorama here and then of course we have our nest over here you can see the foliage and everything here around the nest is beautifully sculpted out and also given a few variations of greens to kind of highlight it and the eggs themselves look incredible here in the nest and they're also painted very nicely and very realistically they have kind of like a greenish coloration and then a nice spotting to them but there's a nice dry brushing over top as well and what i was saying earlier is i really like the tone of color for the bases as well as the nest area and the eggs because it really seems like the baryonyx itself has chosen a great spot to kind of camouflage to take care of its eggs whereas the eggs kind of match in with the coloration of the background which again would be something that real animals would do of course they would find an area where they can kind of hide the nest where you know a predator of some kind would not find the nest so easily and uh, that's perfectly shown off here in this base so i really feel like on top of just looking beautiful it has so much realism to it when it comes to the appearance as far as the paintwork and then the underside of course again says santiago and calypso here with the nanmu logo so to further show you how realistic the coloration of the base is let's check out santiago on top of the base now for santiago there is no actual way to you know, like she doesn't have pegs or anything to put her on there. She just kind of sits on there. And again, like I was stating where the eggs kind of mesh with the background and everything, for this color variant of the Baryonyx to be the laying down version, it honestly looks so much so like she's camouflaged in here as well. So it's like she had chosen an area where obviously she'd be able to hide her eggs, but an area where also she would be able to kind of blend in with the background to you know, obviously hide her here as well to really not bring attention to the nest or the fact that she is nesting here with the eggs. So Nanmu really did a great job, again, in my opinion, as far as the realism goes and showing off a very realistic side of dinosaurs, something that we probably would have seen if we had the opportunity to see dinosaurs in their natural habitat. I feel like when it comes to nesting, this is an extremely realistic overall appearance to this entire diorama and just again another element of this model that Nanmu honestly knocked out of the park. And then of course when it comes to the two different Baryonyx you have the one that I said here Santiago who just kind of lays here but then we have Calypso who has a little hole here on the underside of the foot you just have to line that up there with that peg and then ease Calypso on there and you can now see that we have the entire diorama here put together very nicely with I'm not too sure where the perfect spot is for Santiago to lay, but I feel like that's probably it. So now we have Santiago and Calypso here on the base together, looking absolutely phenomenal. As far as a size goes, for a length, if we can get this around Calypso and bring this up here for a length on Santiago, you were looking at about the nine and a half inch range or around 24 centimeters. Not too much on a height as far as she goes or he just depends on the way you look at it you're looking at about three and a half inches or nine centimeters due to the laying down position for calypso you are looking at oh, i'd say just shy of 10 inches or about 25 maybe a little over 25 centimeters and then for a height 
if we measure on the base to the top of uh, Calypso here, it's hard to find a good spot to do that. You were looking at almost four and a quarter inches or around 10 and a half centimeters, roughly somewhere in that vicinity because that wasn't the best area to try to figure that out. But for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our Nanmu Baryonyx, showing you that although they definitely are not the largest Nanmu models to come out, they are definitely very nicely sized. I would say very similarly sized to the Allosaurus that they have released prior. So hopefully with these figures here in comparison, it will help to show you that again, the overall diorama definitely sports a very nice and impressive size. And for another comparison, here are the Nanmu Baryonyx in comparison to the Nanmu Allosaurus. Like I had stated where I kind of compared the two being a similar size. I think this should definitely show you that when it comes to the Allosaurus and the Baryonyx, the standing version there, almost in similar positions, kind of with the one leg kind of picking up off of the ground and a slight head turn, just different directions and stuff. But really showing off again that they are a very similar size. If you happen to have the Allosaurus, you'll have a really good idea, I think, at this point of the size of the Baryonyx. So Santiago and Calypso from Nanmu, the Baryonyx pair are fantastic. Nanmu always knocks every release they have out of the park. And this is another great release on the part of Nanmu. I love what I see here with the two of these figures. And I also love the fact that for the first time, we have a diorama here from Nanmu showing off, you know, a male and female together. And on top of being together... It's a very nice scene of a female nesting, and on top of that, a very nice scene of a male bringing the female a bite to eat with a fish. Or you could, of course, look at this in opposite you know, eyes because of the fact that we kind of have more, in my opinion, eh, it's really actually kind of hard to tell which one you would term as the male or the female. I always associate brown with females because, you know, most often with ducks, you usually find like female ducks are brown and then the males have a little bit more of a colorful appearance. And that's obviously not limited to ducks. It's just that I have ducks, so I'm used to looking at females as brown. But uh, at, at the same time, again, there is some nice flashiness on the brown here of Calypso. So we have some nice yellows and stuff running down the back, kind of male-like coloring and patterning as far as that goes. And then the Santiago version does kind of appear as though it could potentially be female so it's really up to you I guess it's up to you to take your opinion on which one would be male which one would be female which one is bringing the fish to which but regardless it's a beautiful scene a very realistic scene and probably something that happened countless times when these dinosaurs were alive the sculpts are phenomenal of both they are very highly detailed showing off every ounce of movement every ounce of fine detail that you would imagine on a living breathing dinosaur it is brought to life beautifully here by nanmo in the sculpts of their baryonyx both of them neither figure is even remotely lazy when it comes to both sculpt and paint they're both as top notch as it gets and easily the two nicest and most high quality baryonyx that i have in my collection especially when it comes to jurassic style baryonyx figures and the paintwork again looks great on both nanmu always just does such a great job on the application of their paint with nice naturalistic coloration on top of nice naturalistic tones of color they have nice naturalistic application of their paint with so many different super smooth transitions between colors very nice washes nice dry brushing techniques that they've used to really make sure that you see how incredible the sculpting and detailing is on the course of the figure but also just make them look so unbelievably lifelike and realistic nanmu is really good at honestly bringing you a dinosaur model that looks like a shrunken down living breathing version of a living dinosaur it is so cool how high quality these models continuously are from nanmu then you have the really cool base which again i had stated earlier how much i love the fact that the coloration just looks so good as far as where you would expect that particular baryonyx to create a nest very nice realistic appearance to the coloration of the base the eggs everything looks great very nice naturalistic application of the paint on there as well so this entire set is so high quality so beautiful and honestly 
I feel like it deserves to be in a Jurassic World museum somewhere. It is that awesome. So if you are interested in picking these up, I will include a link in the description to where you can do that on Dan's Dinosaurs. They are still available to purchase on there. You can purchase, again, either Santiago or Calypso individually, or you can buy the pair on there and have this awesome diorama. There is the alternating version of these Baryonyx where you can have the coloration that you see here of Santiago on Calypso and Calypso on Santiago and I will actually be reviewing that version as well as soon as it arrives this one had arrived earlier than the other version I was kind of going to review them both together but I figured why not just wait for the other one to arrive and then review that one separately because it is a pretty you know hefty model to get through so that will be saved for another video. But again, an awesome release on the part of Nanmu. Make sure you check the link in the description. Head on over to Dan's Dinosaurs and order yourself this fantastic pair of Baryonyx from Nanmu. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.